Hello, sixth grade team. This is your special education visual content specialist for grades six through eight social studies. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can support our students in making connections through the use of explicit strategies and note taking. This video is aligned to the sixth grade curriculum in Passport to Social Studies. Here, we will use SDI in order to engage and provide access to all learners, a post student IEP goals aligned to expressive language and making connections, and support student development of comprehension and mastery of rigorous content through the use of explicit note taking. Upon your implementation of this note-taking strategy, your students will be able to apply note-taking strategies that will support in visual processing, developing background knowledge, and building connections on grade level topics. One very effective way of taking notes is the Cornell Notes format. This format is a style of note-taking that supports information processing because it allows you to reflect on your notes by encouraging a summarization of information. This format also helps students connect thinking and create relationships between ideas. On the left, we see the format for Cornell Notes. And this format can be modified or adapted to your needs and that of the students. In this example, we see that the page is divided into four working sections. On the left, we created a margin with enough space for keywords and for the creation of questions. We left a room for the title. Usually it's the topic that you're going to be um, taking notes on, the date, and lots of room for quick notes, abbreviations, key thoughts, and takeaways. On the very bottom, there is a section for a summary. Cornell Notes is a note-taking format that supports information processing. Therefore, it reinforces accountability so that the students are able to then demonstrate what they have learned. Cornell Notes also reinforces observation and inference skills, as well as critical thinking. It also supports executive functioning aspects connected to organization. This is a tool that supports the refinement of language skills and for SWD students as well as for L students. One way that you can use Cornell Notes in the sixth grade is in the first unit. We can use the first unit as an example. In one of the lessons, we see that the students need to determine the geographic factors that influence culture. This is one of the first lessons, if not the first lesson, of this unit. And at the end of watching the first video that they have to watch, they have to answer the question, based on the video, how does the geography of a region help to determine one's culture? Cornell Notes is a great way to begin to organize those thoughts and ideas, especially at the beginning of a unit, because it's going to help students build background knowledge. So especially when watching a video, that would be a great benefit or a great foundation for their background knowledge because it also helps with visual processing. Cornell notes in alignment to the video would be highly beneficial for students. So here in unit two of day one, titled Geography and its Impact on Culture, students are tasked with watching this video and then being able to answer the question, how does the geography of a region help to determine one's culture? Before answering such a question like this, to me, this is a culminating question for this task. Um, I think students need to be able to process what they see in the video. We have many different kinds of learners. Some are visual, some are auditory. And especially for our auditory learners, um, Cornell Notes um, is a great way to practice or exercise 
that skill. Um, and for visual learners, it's a great way for students to be able to see the organization that has to occur in order for you to process information. So here is a template or an example of what a Cornell Notes document could look like. You can use this in person or even in a virtual setting. In a virtual setting, you would use this using um, Pear Deck and you can activate the slide or add on a drawing feature where students can take notes right on the document within the Google slide. So here what we want students is to basically be able to summarize the resource that they're using. And I would model the use of such a document or such a format of note taking on first you by first using a very common topic such as dogs, the kinds of dogs. And then I would model what questions to create, some key terms using an article about dogs or a video about dogs and writing down just the central or the most important ideas, abbreviations um, related to the topic. One great way to differentiate this even further for students would be to add a section for drawing. Some students like to incorporate doodling in their note taking. So that this would be a great way for students to be able to exercise that skill as well. And it adds a little bit of fun to the topic. Another great way to differentiate this even further would be to provide a scaffold such as uh, a lead, uh, fill in the blank. So having them still input that important information while filling in the blank of a sentence or a phrase or the word with the given definition. They're still taking notes and it's the most important information, but now they're receiving that support, um, especially for students who have difficulties with fine motor skills. Um, and being able to write too many notes would probably be difficult for them. So some final considerations about Cornell notes and how it relates to the sixth grade. Cornell notes are a great way for differentiation. You can add fill in the blanks for important information um, instead of having kids take notes um, all on their own and possibly missing what the important information is. It also allows students to process information in a way that is digestible and that will add to their comprehension. Being that this is such a highly organized format of note taking, students can go section by section and just review what they've written in that section. So if there is a vocabulary quiz, they can review the keywords, or if there is a quiz on the topic, they can review their notes and summaries. This format of note taking promotes active and purposeful engagement with content and it makes thinking visual. 